So they had me doing all this extra speed stuff, you know. And that's you know that's with playing every day, lifting like three times a week. So and in the Florida State League, so you know that's 100 degree heat, 100 percent humidity every day. So at first I was a little worried about it, you know, I thought I might get worn down, be tired after a month, but it really wasn't that bad. But uh, with that said, all I really did was three things. I'd warm up on the uh, warm up on the ladder just like you guys do, work on my 5105 shuttle run, and then like tennis ball drop. I don't know if you guys have done that before. But you know and uh, <laughs> I mean it really helped. I can't even tell you guys uh, how much of a benefit it was. Especially when you got guys from like the front office in Detroit coming up and telling me that you know that can definitely tell a difference in my speed and just how I move around. And I think like last year, my time to first base from the right side was like a like a four four on average, which is average big league speed. And uh, after doing that, this after doing this stuff for about a month and a half, I got it down to like a four one, which is pretty significant when you're talking three tenths of a second is a big deal. Whether you're talking sixty especially home to first, and even more importantly, when you're trying to steal a base. So, you know, uh, there were certain, certain techniques, I guess, that they got me to do, which helped, uh, which sped along the process, I think. And I think if you guys can get the hang of it, I think it would know, be obviously beneficial to all you guys, whether you're an outfielder, infielder, or you know, whatever the case may be. Uh, as an infielder, you know you're going to get it going lateral quickness uh, and stealing bases, just like the outfielders, you guys need that too. So, and pitchers. You guys aren't athletes anyway, so it doesn't really matter. There are none out here, so. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, so. All right, but anyways, all right, so. Uh, now, we had a couple, a couple of the guys, were, when I was repeating the story to them, they were, they were saying, well, what did, what did it help you the most with? With your jump? Or uh, yeah, for sure. Your jump, speed? Jump, jump was what it okay. was, you know. Uh, those first, you know, three steps are the most important when you're stealing a base. You can, you, you can be a 6'5", 60 guy, but be a terrible base stealer because it takes you those first three steps to get going. But if you're short and quick and explosive, you can, you know, be full speed after those three steps, and you'll be safe almost every time. And uh, that's what it was. And it came from uh, doing this five cent five dollars. I would say more than anything, just because that crossover step, you know, when you steal. I know Coach Keys probably had you, had you doing like a roll, which is probably the right idea. But uh, I think the biggest thing for me was getting like my hip flexibility to be able to start running but keep my shoulders square. And then gradually go into the you know regular running uh, form. And uh, the way I started to do that was it was kind of like progression with the five ten five. I started out just doing the first five, you know, working on just my just my starting technique, working on really you know crossing over, staying there, and then I just go through. And then you know the next week I come through and do the five ten, and then the next week I just you know do the whole thing. And that's kind of how I got in, got used to it, got used to the technique, and uh, you know the results spoke for themselves. So, so walk us through the technique, if you don't mind. So the, the the crossover step, you set up like we normally would. All right. So the way I always did it, you know, I had had a cone right here. So I start with whichever way I was going, I'll have my uh, that I'll have my opposite side. So I'd be here, and then I work on getting oh, crossover, you know, crossover, and then by the time I was to the cone, you know, I hadn't even turned yet. So they do this a lot for like the NFL Combine because if you just turn and run, then you gotta stop, turn, and then go back. So that's gonna slow your time significantly. But if you can get over there, you know, without having to turn, you're already set up to go back the other way. And the other thing I'll, I'll point out is that if you're stopping and turning in place, that's that much time that you're moving, the pitcher can catch up on your movement, but you're not making any forward progress. Yeah. And so really, like, I can get out there in two steps for the most part, you know, because I'm going to do a step, step, and then like a hop to get me going the other way. And you got to, I don't know, it just, it just takes time to, to get the technique down. But really, the start is the most important thing. You know, base stealing, doing this stuff, it's huge. So, and like I said, hip flexibility was the biggest thing. You know, if you're stiff in here, you're not going to be able to get over that front leg. You're going to have to, you know, really turn your shoulders to go. So. Now, what did they do to help you out with your hip flexibility? You know, just the same things you guys are doing, like stretching every day, doing the groin or stuff like that. Okay. Just uh, lunge to hip flexor stretch, yeah, lunge with the rotation. It, just, stay, just staying with it, you know. Okay. Making it part of your program. I don't know how much you, how many times, how many times a week you guys are doing it. Right now, we're doing it twice a week, and they've been given instructions to try and do it on yeah, their own. I mean, but. I think, I mean, I was doing it four, four or five times a week. So, I know it's tough when you have a whole team. You know, I was the only one doing it. So, 
it made it a lot easier for me just because it was convenient with you guys. It takes a little more effort to organize and all that stuff, but you can do this stuff on your own. It took literally 15, 20 minutes tops to do this stuff, and then I would go and take BP or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, it helped out a lot. I can't tell you guys now, how beneficial it was. Why don't you give us the, the run, run through 75%, 85%. Full. Right. So what you started, you did the five first. All right, I'll try to do this now. So, so let's stop. Five. Don't want to do that. Yeah. But yeah, you always want to, it's almost like a hockey stop. You know, that's what's going to really make your, your times go down is, you know. Hockey stop being the outside yeah, leg. Yeah, hockey stop, you know, you want to be here and go. You know, you don't want to ever, like, shuffle to stop. You always want to prepare your body for the stop, you know. Okay. That's about it. All right. So let's do that. Let's do this. Uh, 